Hey, this is YBR with BeamNG Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a map called Baja Forest. There's only one location we can start at, so you know where we're going to start. And since we're on a Baja course, a logical car to use here would be a rally car, so let's go with the rally version of the ETKI series. Instead of using white, let's get fire red. And we'll see how that looks. And uh, actually, that looks pretty good because we still got the white text on the side. And then on the roof, we have red. So all it really does is extend the red out. I see a small seam as I was rotating right there, but overall pretty good. So let's get started with this place. Now, the neat thing about this place is how wide the road is. The road is so wide. You can drive it really fast and recklessly. And most of the time, you'll come out with minimal damage. So here I am flying through the air, smashing into the ground and barely any damage. And we're still going because all the trees and rocks and all that you can crash into are far away making it really hard to fully wreck the car as you fly through the map. So it makes it a really forgiving and fun place to drive on, although pretty easy. That's not to say it's impossible to crash here. You could still crash if you go into a corner at 120 miles per hour thinking you're invincible. And that is, of course, speaking from experience because I tried that earlier and I was like, oh yeah, okay, you can still crash here. And whoop, whoop, getting a little ugly right there, right before the good jump. Come on, up to 60 miles per hour, that's not too bad. And, oh, my wing is still attached? Okay. I thought it was coming off, but the wing's like, wait, wait, YBR. I got one bolt left. This one bolt's gonna hold on, and the wing is good to go. Speaking of good to go, that is a lap of the place. We were good to go, and now we're done. And you know what? This car is functional enough where I think we could do a lap in reverse, although the map doesn't want you to do a lap in reverse, because it has these signs like, no, don't do it. And I'm like, I'm YBR. You can't tell me what to do. I will say, the map is more fun going in the correct direction, but there's really little reason why you can't do it in both directions. The only thing I would say to watch out for is this jump right here. It really pops you into the air going in this direction, and there completely goes my wing and also my front bumper. And I think the car might be pulling to the side a little bit. Let's see, is it? Yeah, it's pulling a little bit, but I don't think it's bad enough where it's going to mess us up. We are going to complete a lap in forward and reverse using just this car, at least that is now my goal. I'm not going to drive any more careful to accomplish that goal, though, because I feel invincible on this map. The roads are so wide, how could you possibly crash? Said YBR 10 seconds before he crashes. Hopefully not, but it might be... No, we're good, we're good. I thought I was going into that corner way too fast, but it was actually a perfectly reasonable speed. Oh, a little bit of air, and radiator damage, that's not a concern. We can keep going, although car feels like it's pulling hard to the left. Come on, get on the road. No. No, we are going to finish a lap with this thing. I don't care if I have to flip it over myself, we are going to get this done. In real rally racing, they do that. They flip the car back upright and they keep going. Although, most of the time they don't go to rear-wheel drive only because the front is now broken. We can finish it though, we don't need those front wheels, hopefully. I'm falling off the course right here, but there we go, that is a completion. Somehow, this car made the lap in both directions in this state. That is super impressive to me. So what shall I do to thank the car? Well, how about we wreck it? Yeah, that sounds so wrong, doesn't it? Car, I am so proud of you. You worked so hard and you were able to accomplish the goal I set out. So as to uh, thank you, I am going to wreck you. I should think of it as a good thing though, because it can be repaired instantly with a single press of a button, so it really doesn't matter. So where I want to wreck it is over here, because it's kind of a cliff it looks like, where you could just fly off and have some fun. So let's see here. Oh, that's a good cliff. That's a real good cliff. Can we do anything at all when we're at the bottom here? Nope, that is completely ruined. So, oh, it was catching fire right at the last second. So I'll bring it back up to the top and uh, let's see if we fall off over in this direction instead. So, wee! A little bit of a bounce and into the trees. And once again, a little bit of fire into the mix because why not? Can we do any sort of driving here? No, because both drive shafts have broken. So we pop it back up here. And uh, we'll see if there's any other fun places it looks like to uh, wreck this thing. Kind of pop into that hole right there. Ooh, that actually broke the front drive shaft. I did not expect that. But we got a nice flip out of it, so it was worth it. Although now it's a lot harder to drive because it's only rear-wheel drive. I mean, normally it wouldn't matter, but we are on dirt, which makes it a little bit more slippery. All right, what about flying right here into some trees? So yeah, they got a lot of trees around you to crash into. You have a good variety of crashes here, as you're seeing right now. Although we're not having a good variety of vehicles, so you know what, we repair this vehicle and say you've done your job. We are proud of you. But now you shall be replaced by a rally version of a Pessima. Because it's cheaper to run this car. You and your crazy German engineering, the repairs are too expensive. 
At least uh, that's the excuse the team used as they replaced their car with this one. I see a nice hole right here. Let's uh, pop into it. Oh, that's a deep hole. It's much deeper than I expected. And uh, the engine's like popping out of that thing. Look at that. Wow. All right, bring it back. And pop it right there and keep on driving until we see something else that looks fun. We also need a little bit of speed as we go into it too. You know, speed adds to the fun. We're gonna get a nice jump if we don't bounce too much. Yeah, we bounce too much. It's a real calm jump right there. Super smooth though. That was really smooth. I want to try to maintain as much speed as possible because at the end of this, I think there's a place we can have some fun with. We're gonna be going almost 100 right here and then we fly into the tree. Over the tree, okay. Fly over the tree and into the mountains. That's the way it works. And then back onto the road, upside down, right side up, all over the place. Let's just go ahead and reset this and then replace it with something else I installed for this map. It is the CRD Monster Truck, and I did a video for this in the past, but it was an older version that didn't have as many features. So we're going to use a new skin that you didn't see in that version. I'll give you guys just a quick look at that before we get started. Now, this is actually a really good map for the monster truck because the roads are so wide you can have some fun with it a lot of the time you'll go somewhere with the monster truck and you can't even fit on the road and it really reduces the fun but here we can have tons of fun going over the jumps sliding a little bit all over the place right here and we're still on the road that's what's important is you're still on the road and you're still having fun and this thing handles all the bumps and jumps amazingly that really is the strong point of this thing is just how well it goes over rough terrain so I want to try to do a whole lap of this place with the monster truck and then I want to do the big jump in reverse and see how well it handles that. Now I know it doesn't go that fast for top speed so I don't know how far it'll actually fly because you know going about 60 right here is pretty close to as fast as you're going to get this thing it seems like on this terrain. There's another jump and again so smooth. But you know what smoothness can only get you so far. We need a crash right now. Let's fly. And I can't see nothing because of the trees, but uh, everything exploded, apparently. Like, you look at the top corner and everything just fell apart. So we'll just try to pop it back up right on the edge right there. That was a little too close. And then continue along. Actually, at this point, we've basically done all the interesting things on the lap. All we got to focus on now is going in reverse and hitting the jump. So just try to drive clean. I can do that, right? Sometimes I can drive clean. I don't always have to crash every 10 seconds, it just usually happens. Look, look at this, we've got at least 15 seconds without crashing. Okay, I almost just crashed right there. I uh, admit that now, I almost crashed, but I didn't. That's the key. Almost, but did not. So let's see, can we get some speed to do this jump right here? Not much more than last time, just going to be a pretty easy jump for my monster truck. But the fun comes when we reverse it, so let's just crash into something right here. Oh, nice tipping crash. To really just pop it into those trees and then we'll just go ahead and get it upright and this should be enough room to get this thing up to speed and do the jump so let's see here how fast we go we're gonna hit about 60 miles per hour which is as fast as i can expect out of this thing so here we go flying not that much we actually did not fly as much as i expected i'm a little disappointed with that to be honest with you i was hoping we could get some serious air that was still some air but it wasn't Serious. It was playful air. It was child's play. We need air! Stat! That's not how you get air. That's how you wreck your monster truck. Now that's how you pop a wheelie though. <laughs> it's now a wheelie truck. All it do is wheelies because it ain't got no front wheels no more. I love that I actually have steering still even though I only have rear wheels because of the all wheel steering. That is truly a magnificent piece of technology. I mean I have steering but I don't have control so you know just get a new one real quickly and I think we can fly off of this place one more time with the monster truck and that'll probably be all we do so gotta look for a good spot like right here we're gonna get it nice and up to speed we hit a little bit of a bump right there and oh so smooth until boom everything falls off because the monster truck is ruined and that one's really ruined that one's not going anywhere and actually now that i think about it there is one more place i want to try to crash with the monster truck so let's do that and then we'll be done with this video because there's a lot of fun crashing there with a normal vehicle so why wouldn't it be fun to crash there with a monster truck makes sense to me just takes a while to get there because it's kind of on the exact opposite side of the map whoa 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 don't you flip on me monster truck you know better than that stay upright 
I mean, you can flip in a second, just not yet. We're good. We're good. I have all these monstrous tires and suspension, so I can do that and not even be concerned. So here's where I wanted to crash. I want to hit that bump right there and pop it into the air. Pop it in the air. Ha! The guy just bounced off the mountain like, please, this is nothing to me. And it keeps driving. That is amazing. Like, I basically slammed into that at 50 miles per hour and it didn't even care. Although it did shoot off some of the uh, body panels. Ooh, with the trick shot into the tree. That was interesting. Anyways, until next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya.